Hey, good morning to everybody. Okay, today's episode is going to be a little different. Uh, we're going to work on Toyota Nickel Metal Hydrate hybrid batteries. And this episode is going to be a little interesting because I am going to show you how to properly charge a high voltage battery from Toyota using a 12 volt battery. So, yes, a 12 volt battery. It's a strange procedure, but I'm going to show you, right? So if you want to learn, stick around and then we will continue then. Okay, so we're here in the lab. So the very first thing that I, what we are going to use in this episode is a couple of very thick jump starter cable, of course, your meter, a 12 volt battery, all right? Make sure it's very charged. And then of course, our balancer. Hi again. Okay, now you might find this uh, a little weird uh, for some of you it could be impressive but one thing we need to understand if you remember our last episode all right we were properly balancing uh, the high voltage battery from the Toyota which we did we assemble we leave it there balancing for a couple of days and the battery turns to be you know, over 106 percent of capacity of state of health which is a uh, it's a very nice uh, it's a very nice result but I'm focused this episode in those technicians or you as a user if you like to work with these and you don't have a charger and you need to properly balance your modules I'm going to show you just this very basic technique because as I said once we understood already using our balancer to properly balance okay we could apply the very same principles to charge the battery how well easy remember Charging a battery is just injecting more potential difference from one source to another, right? Well, we're going to do exactly the very same thing. But what I'm going to do is, all these mountains of modules, these are just all bad modules that I'm accumulating time and once a year I just uh, send them to recycle, okay? But some of them still have state of charge. So I'm going to um, select a few of them that might have some little different state of charge and we are going to charge them using this gentleman over here okay so just give me a moment let me just select a few modules and we will continue that all right so we select these eight modules that we're going to work in let me just check the voltage of each one let me see 79 746 45, let me see, 718, 45, 728, 743, and 747. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, yes, these are all modules that are a little over 7 volts. But let's say that you want to, for example, low test them. And when it comes to the low test, and remember, you need to charge this battery to 100%, or at least close to 100%. And let's say again, you don't have a charger. Uh, this is just a simple basic techniques, applying the same physics of potential difference by simply connecting in parallel. So, if you say that I have a state of, I have a module with a state of charge, this other with another state of charge. And I connect and I connect them in parallel, right? In my machine, both of them are going to be in balance. They're going to become in balance, meaning levelize their their uh, state of charge, right? But the thing is, how in the world I am going to charge them to 100 percent So we're talking about all of them are seven point something, seven point five, seven point three, seven point two, and I want to take them to seven point four, seven point five, seven point six. Why? Because I'm going to use now a 12 volt battery and exactly the same principle. I use my machine that's going to give me 
it's gonna put it very very much easier for me to connect all my modules and then connect that in parallel to properly charge so let me just connect it and I will show you it's very short give me a second okay so now all these modules are connected in parallel means that if I'm measuring the voltage the overall voltage it's gonna give me an average of 7.49 okay that means these modules have a little potential difference between them and they are balancing at the moment okay now I want to load test these batteries but at seven at less than 7.5 it's gonna be trouble for me to measure um, the modules now when it comes to load test don't worry one of the master class videos that's coming I will show you that not yet first thing but before load testing as I said I need to charge these modules but I don't have a charger but you know what I got a 12 volt battery a strong 12 volt battery so 12 volt 7.5 volt there is definitely a difference so what happens if I connect these two batteries in parallel not just one because if uh, I need to charge them all so I'm just doing the example right now just with eight modules okay so let me just connect it and I'll show you all right so it's full setup negative pull to all the negative all right my overall voltage to the 12 volt battery negative and the positive and it's the moment of truth See what's happening if I connect it to the positive what do you think it's happening there all right 10 15 seconds and disconnect you saw the spark right now you got to be careful you cannot leave it always connected over there because the voltage of this battery is too high. And then remember, they are balancing at a very high rate of current. So I must warn you, this is not something to do if you don't dominate the matter. Okay? You can overheat and even burn the batteries if you leave it connected for, for more than what you should. But if you just leave it connected for a few moments, a few seconds, let's say 10, 15 seconds, you will see now, in a moment, look at my average voltage now. <laughs> Amazing, right? And the, the most thing is that it's so simple to do by just same principles. If you connect it in parallel with a potential difference, the strongest one will become the source of voltage and of course the weak one they're gonna absorb energy this is not the proper way to do it I'm just showing you one alternative technique to charge your high voltage battery if you don't have a charger just by simply using a 12 volt battery what do you think let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe hit that little red button over there and I hope you like this but over let's measure the voltage again let's see 7.87 if i do it maybe three times maybe four times leaving them connect for a few for a few seconds remember these modules they are designed to absorb a lot of current high current even 100 amps all right so we're talking about 100 amps but that means super fast charging and super fast discharge. They will hold the power, but don't push it, okay? This is just uh, an alternative technique. So I hope you guys like it, okay? Okay, so after a couple of 10 second charging, 8.6 average. Let's give it one more shot. Everybody connected in parallel, here we go, one, two, there it is. There you see my point. 
the wall ditch begins to raise up it's just potential difference higher voltage passing through the parallel connection and then whoop Let's see are we seeing any swelling not quite <laughs> now you gotta remember once again do not leave it connected for a long period of time you can do it probably 10 15 seconds you're delivering a high current to these batteries so let's call this a super fast charging it's exactly the equivalent of a super fast charging so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna unplug them I'm gonna measure the individual voltage of all these modules and we'll see what what's going on there all right, we'll continue all right the moment of truth I'm gonna measure the voltage of the modules all right 8.20, 8 8.20, 8.20, 8.21, 8.11, 8.21, 8.21, 8.24. Okay. In less than 10 minutes. Super fast charge. Now, in order to load test them now, I need to balance them because I need to have a, I need to graphic my load testing, all right? So what I'll do again, I will just leave them in the balancer, connect them for one day, at least. So they will be perfectly balanced for tomorrow and then I can prob properly do my load test. Very easy, right? What do you think? In conclusion, so here I have less than 10 minutes all my modules are fully charged okay once again same principles that you guys learned on the uh, previous episode which is how to properly balance uh, these high voltage batteries or these modules and hybrid batteries okay so what do you think it, it's a it's a fine strange techniques but understanding potential difference allows you to play pretty much with these modules because remember these modules they can hold a lot of power at a very high current they are designed for that so yes you can also apply very fast charge and very fast discharge we are talking about over 100 amps and even discharging too so these modules are designed for that so there will be absolutely no problem with charging and discharging at a high rate these modules Okay? And when it comes to bringing them back to life or cycling, it's always better to use that slow charge. But if we are just only going to low test, just apply a simple parallel connecting with a potential difference uh, source, like in this case, a 12 volt battery. Okay, so I really hope you guys like this video. This is the second very short masterclass series we're doing. Okay, don't forget you got to support the channel. Hybrid Solution Diagnostic is a channel made for you guys. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.